It caught my eye. Uh, basically, um, pop star Kate Nash, uh, she says the music business doesn't pay. So she's quite a successful pop star, but wasn't making any money. Uh, she's on a concert tour right now. She says it's very expensive, couldn't really afford it, etc. So guess how she's funding herself? And she's suddenly, as they say, sitting on a fortune. Uh, she's making a lot of money now, uh, selling pictures of her backside on OnlyFans, that sort of porn site. Uh, and uh, she insists that flogging her rear end, snaps her pictures of her rear end, uh, it's sometimes in thongs and fishnet stockings, doesn't conflict with her feminism. Uh, meanwhile, Lily Allen has struck gold as well on OnlyFans. She's charging uh, a lot of money for pictures of her feet. Is all of this empowering for women, as some say? Or just another sign of our tacky times and does selling pictures of your bum really not conflict with feminism? Uh, let's talk to uh, the co-founder of uh, 125 UK and feminist Jean Hatchett. Hello, Jean. Hi. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. Uh, d d what do you feel about this? Do does... I mean, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a libertarian. She can do what she likes, but I'm not sure... It's particularly feminist to sell pictures of your backside on only for fans, is it? No. I mean, um, if you're taking advantage of an opportunity that benefits you, which simultaneously uses a platform which uh, is, the, is the thin edge of, a, of a, a scale that leads to women being prostituted and um, being raped for cash, then, you know, that... that that might be a choice for you, but you're also endorsing the, the, the very much worse choices that the poorest women have to make. So, no, it absolutely is part of a of a wider picture. So, um, if you are only having to, or you've made that choice to sell pictures of your feet, there's still a woman further down the ladder that is having to face you and opening up a misogynist you know, hotbed really, which which encourages other men to think it's okay to abuse women from that level down to the woman in a, you know, a, a terrible situation where she has to feed her children and she has to do something really dreadful regularly all day long. And those those are not feminist choices. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I, I hear you, uh, um, uh, Jean, but, I mean, only fans generally... Uh, I mean, again, you know, I don't take any moral line on all of this. Uh, you know, people have got to do what they've got to do. But I'm not sure, you know, it is the most uh, inspirational development uh, in our culture that now uh, there's this temptation, particularly for women. Uh, you know, if I sort of uh, take my clothes off and put a few sexy things on and put my pictures up there, I can make a lot of money. Uh, I mean, it's not an encouraging direction of travel for our culture, is it? It's not an encouraging direction that, that men are able to create that demand and that society feels that that's normal. You know, this is not, this is not something... Women have to be accountable for the, for the choices they make in order, you know, like, like Kate Nash has done, she sacrificed the rights of other women because she's saying that this is OK. But this demand is male. You know, we, don't, we can't get away from that. Like, who's paying for the pictures of her feet? Not women, it's men. And, and that's the, 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 the core root of this. But, you know, we've got to eradicate all of these demands. You know, you can't facilitate a bit that you seem as more cosy because there was also to facilitate the demands that are very much not cosy. So, you know, yes. you cannot have this, this entry level to prostitution because that's what it is. And it, and it is exploitation of women. There is zero that is empowering about this. So, 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 uh, uh, I mean, you're, you're being condemnatory towards the men who get off on this sort of thing. Uh, yeah. And I understand that line. But uh, <laughs> would you, I mean, by extension, are you also condemnatory about the women, you know, who supply these pictures for these men? People yeah. like Kate. Uh, Nash and Lily Allen, you know. Well, that's, I think that's the point. Is the, the poorest women have the fewest choices. Yeah. So, if you're talking about women that have zero other choices, 
then those men are making demands on women that are so poor they cannot do otherwise. Yeah. When you've got women like Liliana, Lily Allen and, and Kate Nash, you are, seeing, you know, and they're, they're saying that this is okay, then they are saying it is okay that I get this, and you who really are having to take the worst choices of your life, it's probably okay for you too, because it's a, you know, it's just a choice of choice thing. Well, it's not. This is male-dominated um, industry. Right. It's exploiting women from the top to the bottom. Then right. making that choice is not empowering for the women who don't actually have a choice. It's not a choice. If you need to feed your children, that's not really a choice. And so many women who exit prostitution say that it really wasn't a choice they made. And it, 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 do you also reject the concept that somehow doing this is, you know, stripping off for OnlyFans and, uh, you know, helping men get their rocks off is, uh, as some uh, feminists claim, uh, empowering for women. Uh, I, I kind of reject that, but what do you think? Anything that you have to do for money that pleases men, how is that empowering for any woman? It's not empowering for you, and it's not empowering for the women watching you either. Yeah, I mean, I, I just think that women who say that, again, I, I'm not trying to make moral judgments about uh, people who feel the need to do this or want to do it or anything like that, but I, I'm not buying the excuse that it's empowering for women to take your clothes off so men can get off on the pictures. That isn't empowering, is it? No, it's, it's a personal choice. It's a choice for you that impacts on women um, much lower down the scale than you. And I think that's, you know, that, that's really what we have to look at, that, that these are not starving women, you know, and, and some women are. And, and the, But always, 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 the spotlight has to be show, uh, shone on the demand, and the demand is male. Yeah, well, yes, uh, I guess it always will be. Uh, Jean, uh, good to talk to you. Thank you very much for your time. Jean Hatchett, their feminist co-founder of 12.5 UK. Uh, what do you think? I mean, is it empowering for women to take their clothes off?